Hey, what's up? This is Scout with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of the back end of Magento. So, to get to the back end, all we have to do is type in admin after our URL here. It's going to take us to the login, and it's just going to ask for your username and password here. So, we can have it as it was, how you entered it uh, when you installed Magento. Okay, and it's telling me. Magento Community 1.6.1 Stable is available now. Um, I'm not quite sure why it's telling me that because we have 1.7 installed. Uh, this thing, these messages, like uh, they like to pop up and annoy you all the time. So what I would recommend doing is going to your message inbox right away here. And then uh, here's all these different messages. Looks like this one is actually from October 2011. Uh, we're just going to select all of these and we're going to actions, remove, submit, and we're removing all of the messages that came on our site when we installed it. No big deal. It also says up top, one or more of your indexes are not up to date. If you haven't done this already, we're just going to click this index management right here. And we're going to take care of that. We're going to click select all. Uh, action is going to be re-index data and we're going to click submit. And it'll just take a, se uh, a second here, and it's just going to re-index some of our data. Okay, and once that's done, you're going to see all green lights here. Cool. Let's click up top here to get back to your home page. So this is the dashboard. This is what you'll see anytime you go to your admin section right away. It's going to tell you uh, some bit of useful information. Here, once you have some orders, this is going to be a graph of your orders. You can actually change this to be last seven days, current month, whatever. By default, it's set at 24 hours. Um, here I'll have a tab here. This is your best sellers, most viewed products, um, new customers. As you can see, the customer account that I made is right here. And customers, these are people that have actually ordered from you. So on your left column here, you're going to see lifetime sales, average orders, last five orders, last five search terms, top five search terms. It's all a bit of useful information to see right off the bat here. Um, the, the dashboard does a nice job of giving you everything you'd want to know uh, right when you log in. So that's the dashboard. You can always get back to it by clicking right here or clicking up top here, this Magento admin panel. The next one is sales. Under sales, we got a lot of stuff. We have orders, invoices, shipments, credit memos, pretty much anything that has to do with your sales on your site is going to be under here. Your orders, if we click under orders, you're going to see a list of all of the orders in uh, the most recent ones in the top. However, there's live sorting features here. You can sort them by all sorts of things, um, whether they're open, closed, complete, processing, by order number. Um, invoices, same thing. It's going to look the exact same. In fact, this is sort of the way a lot of these screens look. You'll notice uh, you'll get really used to this layout here. Uh, shipments, credit memos, transactions. So this is all of your sales stuff. Under catalog, we have uh, a lot of really important things. So manage products. This is where you're going to see all of the products that are created on your site. If you look now, we have all of these products and the most important information about them, like the type, the attribute set, the SKU number, price. And again, you can sort by any of these things and it's going to do that uh, nice and quick for you. Uh, you can do bulk actions, delete, change status, update attributes, uh, which is really nice. It's super easy to do. Let's say if you need all of them to all of a sudden be enabled, you could uh, select all, select enable, and then under actions, um, update attributes and it's going to make every single one enabled then. So that's pretty cool. Uh, under categories you're going to have the different categories. In your categories if you remember, let's go to the home page for a second, our categories are furniture, electronics, apparel and then inside of those categories are subcategories and then some of those have even further subcategories. You can keep drilling down as much as you want. Uh, as you can see these have look, looks like three levels so that mimics this right here. We have furniture, and living room, and bedroom, and then electronics. We have cell phones, cameras. Inside of cameras, we have accessories and digital cameras. So this layout right here that you see in your categories is going to be what is in your navigation here. Click back here. We can see the important th information about our categories. If you recall, when we were on, let's say, the furniture page, 
it's going to have this header image. And if we look down here, we click furniture here, uh, we see that this image is our header image. So this is where you would upload that header image based on what theme you're on. This is also the name. You can give a description, some meta description stuff. Um, under display settings, uh, you can say you know what it shows, a custom design, uh, category products. You can you could change all the stuff. It's really nice and cool. Um, every single one of your categories can look completely different if you so choose. Um, you also notice that there's some numbers here. This is saying that there's four products that are under living room and two products that are under bedroom. This is nice, uh, you know, quick at a glance if you just need to see how many electronics you have on your site, you got 42, apparel 66. So this is your categories. Um, we'll get into more with categories in the, the next couple of lessons. We'll show you how to create your own and what kind of options. Now attributes and attribute sets are really interesting and really um, a robust part of Magento. So let's click our attribute sets just so you can get an idea of what they kind of are. So our attribute sets are what types of attributes your products will have. So obviously like a t-shirt is going to have um, what like size and color. Let's click on this. You can see these are the attributes for t-shirts. It has a name, model, a SKU, weight, status, um, some other stuff. And uh, we have price, uh, let's see, images, descriptions. So t-shirt specific attributes, gender, shirt size, color. So this is where you would have these sort of options here. Let's go to a t-shirt so I can show you a little bit more about how that is. Let's go shirts. And in this shirt on this product page, you're going to get options that you don't have in other products, like this drop down where you get to choose your size between small, medium, or large. Um, and in here, you can see that, uh, you know, what model it is, some details. So this is where you're going to be. Uh, these are sort of what your attributes are doing. They're allowing you to create product uh, information that's specific to a particular type of product. Um, and so you can create your uh, new attributes, you can add them to attribute sets, and then when you're creating products, you can assign those attribute sets to specific uh, products. So manage attributes, this is where you create individual attributes. So remember before we had gender for the t-shirt, you'll notice that gender is right here. We could use gender across other attribute sets if we wanted to. So gender was just not specifically tied to t-shirts. However, we can associate it with t-shirts in the attribute set. So again, like any of, the other, any of these other screens, you can do sorting, you can do some bulk actions, uh, pretty cool. You can add new attributes here. Uh, URL rewrite management. These are just sort of your URLs. You can uh, um, add some URL rewrites if you want depending on what story you're in and everything. Search terms, these are what people are searching for. Uh, by default, when we installed the sample data, it just sort of populated with this. People aren't really visiting my store, but it's, you know, it's gonna say that these are search terms and uh, these are what people are searching for and this is what came up. So you can actually see what people on your site are searching for. Okay, so reviews and ratings, custom reviews. Um, Reviews by default go into pending. Let's see if we have any in there. No, but uh, when so a review will go into pending and then you have to come in here and approve it. Unless of course you want all reviews to be approved by default and you can do that. Uh, reviews and ratings, they sort of work like how you'd expect them to. Just like anything you'd go on Amazon, a customer can leave a review or a rating on any of your products. Under tags, this is where you're going to tag your products. So you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff in here already. Um, Apple and Acer, whatever. Uh, this is where you can create your own tags if you want, but usually this is where you're going to be modifying tags that uh, customers have placed on your products if you give them that capability. Google sitemap, you can create a sitemap uh, to submit to Google. This will you know, help out with your page ranking. It just sort of gives Google a good idea about where your content is on your site, just like sort of a like exactly like it says, it's a sitemap. Okay, so that's the first couple of categories. As I said before, 
This back end is really robust. There's a lot to go over. In the next lesson, we're going to be showing you a few more things in here just to not overwhelm you in these videos. You know, we'll just split it up. So, uh, as always, if you have any questions, let me know. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.